Hey, welcome everyone. Guess what I got for Christmas? A wok. So today we're gonna make some chicken pad thai. And it is loaded up with vegetables because man, I really love the vegetables. So we're packing them in today. We're using broccoli, some Brussels sprouts. I mean, I'm basically just pulling things out of the fridge or whatever I have, and you can put it in this. I've got a little bit of carrot, onions, garlic. It's delicious. You're gonna love it. The flavor is beautiful. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my silly chef joke. Why did the noodle get a driving ticket? Because he drove past a stop sign. So in making a stir fry, I've gotta help you out here. Right up front, you've gotta do a lot of prep work, have everything chopped, measured out, and ready to go in the pan because usually when you're cooking stir fries, they cook up very quickly and you just need your ingredients ready to go in the pot. So we're gonna start off here with some onion. I'm going to slice this up nice and small and also some bell pepper. Bell pepper adds some nice flavor. Bell peppers have lots of vitamin C, so it's great for you. And it just gives it a lot of color and it makes it look great. Next, I'm gonna prep up some Brussels sprouts and I have a little tip for you. So to trim these up, what you wanna do is you wanna cut a very thin slice off of the very end stem. It's usually browned up a bit, so you wanna get rid of that. But don't cut too much off, because if you do, a lot of the leaves are gonna come falling off. To keep them intact, just cut a little slice. Once you cut them in half, then cut them into quarters so they're bite size. Broccoli is one of my favorite additions to this dish. So make sure you rinse yours before you uh, place it in your pan and I'll give them a rinse here in a strainer and then we'll chop them up to bite-sized pieces. That makes it easier to eat and it also makes it quicker to cook up. Now I'm going to prep up some cilantro and if you're not a fan of it, you can use parsley. I'm going to toss this in a strainer and give it a quick rinse. It will make chopping the cilantro easier if we just pat this dry so they don't stick together. Then run your knife through it until it's nice and small. Now you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Just click the link down there and you'll find it. I also prepped up five cloves of fresh garlic with a uh, garlic press. Now it's time to make our pad thai sauce. Now we're using oyster sauce here. You can get this at the grocery store. So we'll add that to a bowl. I got mine at Sprouts and it is also gluten free. Next, we're gonna add some fish sauce. This brings an earthy, savory flavor to our sauce. Here comes some gluten-free soy sauce. Okay, now we're gonna balance out the flavors with a little bit of heat. We're gonna add some chili powder to this. You can play with the amount here, depending on how hot you like it. Now to balance that out, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut sugar. I'll give that a good stir until the sugar dissolves. Now we're gonna add a little acid to this. So we're gonna add some juice from a lime. That's it for the sauce and we'll just set that aside. The last thing I need to prep up here is our chicken. Now I recommend using boneless skinless chicken thighs. They stay nice and juicy, they just are the best. I'm gonna trim off some of the fat here, as you can see, and then I'll cut each thigh into chunks. All right, the last thing we need are some Thai noodles, and I have those here, and I've got everything else laid out so that it is ready to go in the pan. You can see my chicken, bell peppers, onions, the noodles, which we're gonna cook separately, along with our Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and our sauce, and of course, our cilantro. It must be time for chef joke number two. What do noodles call the shady part of town? The spaghetto. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our noodles. And so I have my pot of water here getting ready to boil. Hey, I just wanted to mention, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash the like button to let me know, okay? Once we drop those into the water, we're gonna wanna toss them around, make sure they don't stick together, and they'll cook up in about six minutes. I found that I had to keep stirring these and moving them around so they wouldn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Once the noodles are done, I'm gonna drain them in a colander and then we're going to uh, run cold water over them. I'm gonna leave these in the sink until we're ready to use them. 
I have my wok heating up over here, almost on high heat. I really want to get it hot, and I'm adding some oil to the pan. And I'm using avocado oil here because it can handle higher temperatures. Now that the oil is hot, I'm going to lay those pieces of chicken right there in the oil. And I'm not going to move them around much. I want them to brown up. I'm going to let the chicken sear here for two to three minutes, not moving it at all. And then we'll flip it over. And you want to season the chicken with a little bit of salt. You always want to season your layers. It's been about three minutes, so now I'm going to flip it over. And you can see how some of it has gotten some browning. So now I'll let this cook another three minutes, pretty much undisturbed. And we'll check it after that and toss it around. Okay, so we've gone another three minutes, and now I'm just going to cook it until it's no longer pink. And I'm going to toss it around and just keep cooking. And to get it finally cooked, it should take another two to three minutes. Once the chicken is done, I'm going to place it into my dish over here and keep it warm. You need to add some more avocado oil to the pan because, well, most of it got used up. So here we go. We're going to put some more in there, and then we're going to add all of our vegetables. First in are our Brussels sprouts. Next goes the broccoli. Now keep in mind that some of these vegetables take a little bit longer to cook, so the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli, I think, take a little longer. And then I'm going to toss in my onions and my bell peppers. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this layer. You know, we have to season those layers. And then have fun with this and just start stirring and tossing and having a good time. Now you want to keep cooking this until you get the tenderness that you're looking for in your vegetables. So I like to test mine with a fork. Some people like them very firm, you know, to the fork touch. And some people like them really soft. So just make it the way you like it. When they start getting a little bit tender, you'll notice the color changes and you'll see this nice bright green color. And that's, that's when you know you should start checking them. My veggies are about done, so I'm going to add the garlic and just work that in for about one minute. All right, I'm going to add the chicken back to the pot. Give that a toss. Then I'll grab the noodles that have been draining in the sink and I'm going to break them up with my hands a little bit and make sure they're not sticking together and toss them in. Now keep in mind the noodles have been sitting there and they are not warm at all. So we need to toss them well and make sure that they get heated up. And next we're going to add our sauce. Be sure to give it a little stir before you add it. That way everything's well combined. So just drizzle it right over the top and make sure everything's heated through and you're ready to serve. Of course, you want to make sure everything's covered with that sauce and mixed in and heated up. And look at this. This is beautiful, and I'm telling you, it's amazing. Last thing on top is the cilantro. So I'm going to sprinkle that over. And remember, you can use parsley if you don't like cilantro. And then I like to mix it in. Okay, it's time to eat. This is the best part. I just can't wait to dig in. Now a nice touch with this recipe is to garnish it up with some chopped peanuts. It is wonderful. The flavors in this are so delicious I can't even tell you. It's always pretty much the sauce that makes it and it does in this dish. I love all the vegetables and the chicken. Awesome. So for a fantastic dessert after your chicken pad thai, I suggest you try my key lime pie. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to it. It's delicious. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video or you found it helpful, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. I want to hear if you're going to make it. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.